What's up you guys, a welcome back and welcome if you're new. In today's video, I'm gonna show you something super simple that you can install onto your truck and it's actually really affordable and also it looks great. Let me go ahead and show you guys because it's gonna be right here in the front. So what we're gonna be installing today is gonna to be something right here in the front. Looking at the grill, you guys probably already seen the title of this video and the thumbnail, but basically looking at the grill here, we're gonna be installing a TRD emblem badge onto the grill. It's gonna look really good, and the cool thing about this is you could get it in different colors. So say your truck is red, say your truck is blue, anything like that, you can get it in those colors just to kind of match it. As far as for me, I went with a gray since my truck is gray. Another thing I wanted to note, as far as for me, as you can tell, it's not the stock grill. I actually have one from the yodagarage.com. If you want to check that grill out, description box below. Or if you guys want to get a TRD Pro grill, make sure to also check out the description box below. Now, if you guys already have either or, or if you guys still have your factory grill, today's install is still possible. Even if you guys have a 4Runner with the grill you guys have, it's also possible. This thing is universal and it fits. And like I said, it comes in different colors and it's super easy to install. Let me go ahead and just stop talking and show you guys how it's done all right so starting off right here before we actually install it I just want to show you guys how it works and what comes inside the package so of course uh, like I was saying in the beginning they do come in different colors so you can go ahead and kind of customize it to what you want and if you do end up wanting to purchase it description box below because I'll leave a link there so the reason I said these are universal to any type of grill that you have um, because when you flip it over as you can tell this is what comes inside the box um, it's this would basically just kind of screw in right here so let me go ahead and do that now. It's super easy. All you do is just kind of find the hole and then you twist it in. It's that easy. Same thing with this one. Find the hole and just twist it in. And then now going when you go into the install, the reason I'm showing you outside is because when we go to the actual grill, you're not going to be able to see what I'm doing. So you're going to insert this into the grill. So this is of course going to be what's showing in the front. So you're going to insert it into the grill and then you're going to get this back piece to it and then you insert that just like that and you just kind of fit it to of course wherever your grill sits so that's why it's universal because it doesn't really matter how thick your grill is it'll just sit in there and then once you find the size then you get your size 8 nuts that it comes with and you just go ahead and uh, twist them on there tighten everything down and then you'll be set and they look nice and clean so let's go ahead and show you guys a before one more time and then we'll go ahead and show you the after so right now I'm just gonna go ahead and let you guys look of course how the stock one from the Yoda garage looks so there it is now we're gonna go ahead and install this let me show you guys it's super simple like I said if you guys do have a TRD Pro grill this is probably gonna fit it a lot better but it fits with any other type of grill because it is universal. This is also for forerunners, so keep that in mind. If you guys do have a forerunner in the family or anything like that, and you guys like this, you can also purchase it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put mine probably about right here somewhere. So it's gonna be super easy. So I'm literally just gonna slide it right in, just like that, kind of sit it where I want it. Once it's sitting there, I'm gonna grab my bracket, and then this is the part that I was saying, you guys probably aren't gonna be able to see me install it. But I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of throw it in from the back side. Now that I have that bracket in place, I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see it too good. Um, but there it is. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put the nuts on. Put the other one. All right. And now you could either hand tighten this um, because it is plastic. You don't wanna tighten it too hard and then break it. I'm just going to use a, a wrench real quick just to give it like two turns and then that'll be it. I'm not going to tighten this too hard. And that's basically it. Let me go ahead and show you guys from the front. So now that we have it installed, like I said, it just adds a little bit of style and it's actually really easy to install and super cheap. So check it out, you guys. So of course, um, I'm going to emphasize on this because I know someone's going to say it. If you guys did have a TRD Pro grill, this would probably fit it a lot better. But as far as for me, I think it still looks good. It just adds a little bit of touch onto your vehicle. So if you guys do want it, description box below. If you guys did like today's video, I know it was super short, but don't forget, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll be making more videos pretty soon. So make sure you guys turn on that bell notification as well. We're gonna be doing one on the bumper pretty soon here. Once it comes in, uh, we're gonna be doing a couple other little things. I'm gonna lift the truck a little bit higher. We're gonna be changing out uh, the rear leaf springs. We're gonna be doing a lot of little things 
to this truck. By the end of this year, I wanna make it look uh, slightly different than it did last year. And another thing, I might be getting new tires soon. I'm running on 33s right now. Stay tuned to see what I actually get. Let's do it. Jesse. Subscribe